Happy April Fools! I'm actually not a fan of people who make a ha ha got you joke video for April Fools. So that's not what I'm doing. I'm instead doing a video that's not really the norm for me. It's gonna get a little weird, but I thought it fit with the day anyways. We're going to look into the weird questions and thoughts I've had about UA from Avatar The Last Airbender. Here's a disclaimer, I haven't read the comics and I haven't watched Korra past season 1 and I know there's a lot of different lore about the spirits in there. And this is just a fun joke video anyways, so don't take this too seriously and we're just going to be looking at The Last Airbender as if it's in a vacuum. So okay, so in the season finale for Avatar The Last Airbender Book 1, General Zhao kills the moon spirit who was mortal and Yue, the chief's daughter, gives her life force for the fish. Her body disappears and she becomes the new moon spirit. And I have so many questions. Like, is she now in control of the fish body? Does she have to consciously swim around the ocean spirit? Or are they separate? Does the fish body have a separate mind and body from Yue? And Yui has just absorbed the spiritual abilities and responsibilities from the moon spirit? And is the moon spirit still mortal? In the Avatar series, most spirits we see are just normal animals, like non-mashed up animals. Heibai is a panda, uh, Wang Shi Tong is an owl, and his servants are just foxes. Ko is just a centipede who, you know, steals faces. And the monkeys just look like normal monkeys even if one of them speaks. And this means that Bosco is a spirit. We're not talking about that today, but think about it. There's also the question of how Tui and La became mortal. Was there something special they did? Or does just coming to the mortal world make them mortal? We do see Hei by going between the spirit world and the mortal world. Are they mortal whenever they come here? And Wang Shi Tong seems to live in the human world. Is he still immortal? We don't really know the parameters here. But what I'm saying is, even though that they didn't speak and they're mortal, these fish are spirits. They have power. We even see that with the ocean spirit forming this fish monster thing with Aang. But Yue is now in the moon spirit. So is the koi fish now just a regular fish? Or is Yue's spirit now tied to the fish? If the fish is killed again, does Yue need a new fish host? Is there a fish avatar? Was the origin of how to create an avatar in front of us all along? No, but seriously, does Yue need the fish now in order to rule the moon? She gave the fish her life force, though the moon spirit also gave some of its own to cure Yue as a baby. I think life force and spirit are connected, usually they're in the same body. When the life force goes, spirit detaches and moves on to the spirit world. Even with the avatars, we see each of them have their own spirit, their own form. It just seems the spiritual responsibilities of the avatar get passed down. But Aang can talk to his past lives, and they each have their own memories, lives, and personalities. The avatar state is just accessing all the accrued knowledge throughout the ages. And when we see Yue, she's a little translucent and she glows. Again, not too much in line with the other spirits we've seen, which are all corporeal animals with spiritual abilities. Is she like that because she used to be human? She has a human spirit, but now she's leveled up to spirit of the moon by giving her life for the mortal body of the spirit? But her life force isn't gone, it's in another body. So those ties still exist, but her spirit can roam more freely. And you can't kill a ghostly spirit, she's incorporeal. But you can kill the koi fish, as we've already seen. In order for there to be a balance in the world, Tui and La, the little yang and yang allegories, need to swim in harmony. Therefore, Yue, who's formerly a human spirit, is now the moon spirit, and whose life force ties her to the koi fish, because the mortal fish need to exist in the world together. If we think about this even further, Yue's father literally had a vision of her becoming the moon spirit. The universe already knew this was going to happen and picked Yue to sacrifice herself for the greater good. The moon spirit healed Yue as a baby, giving up some of his life force knowing that one day they get back both their own and the rest of Yue's life force. And so, I believe that 
if the koi fish is killed once again, another life will have to give up theirs for the fish, or since the spiritual responsibilities of being the moon spirit are now undertaken by Yue, it just need another fish to swim with the ocean spirit. Hence the fish avatar theory. And then there's the painted lady. So the painted lady is the only other spirit in the original avatar series that's a human spirit. And she's also white and glowy and a little translucent. She's supposedly a nature spirit of the lake, but every other nature spirit we've seen are animals, except Yue. Yue, who is once a human and had a human spirit, but reached a higher level of spirituality in becoming the moon spirit. A concept that's seen in multiple cultures, including Hinduism and Buddhism. I don't think she's just a ghost of a person. The villagers turn into a spirit with stories. We've seen the past lives of the Avatar, and they're blue, which they're the avatars, maybe they're different from regular spirits of a human person being seen in the mortal world. However, in the ghost story Katara tells in the Puppet Master, little Nini appears blue to Kaya. Sure, it's probably because she died of hypothermia, but what if it's because she was seeing a little ghost? Even Roku's dragon is blue, and he wasn't the avatar, he was just a completely mortal, normal companion. Human spirits of ghosts manifest as see-through blue images of who they once were. There's also the fact that the painted lady doesn't show up, except at the end to thank Katara. But why? Hibai goes on a rampage when he discovers his forest is burned to the ground. And Aang initially suspects an angry spirit in the puppet master. So supposedly, a spirit's realm of influence being damaged or poisoned shouldn't affect the spirit's ability to physically manipulate things around them. Unless, of course, her spirit is mortally tied to something in the lake, and so because that was sick, she was sick? and couldn't retaliate or move? Or maybe she doesn't have power over anything that she could use to affect the physical realm. I mean, she's a spirit of healing, so she can't destroy the factory with that. Or, as a translucent spirit, she's weaker to environmental damage because of her physical form. While Heibai and Wang Shitong can be hit and moved by humans. That they have more resilience to these things? And Heibai's forest was recently burned down, perhaps environmental harm weakens the spirit over time? Whatever the case, the Painted Lady and Yue are the only two spirits in the original series that are humanoid and glow. Now that I think about it, we only see the Painted Lady at night, maybe it's just a moon thing. And if we saw her in the day, she'd look normal and opaque? Okay, this is getting confusing, so let me try and break it down. Yue was a human, and she gave up her life for the moon spirit, and became the new moon spirit. But I think that the koi fish still has its own life and personality, but it's tied to Yue, and if something were to happen to that fish, another fish or another person's life would still be required because while Yue is incorporeal, the fish can still be physically harmed, and Yue doesn't have the power or ability to appear fully fleshed without a vessel, or something to tie her to, which we also kind of see when the avatar, which we also kind of see when the other avatars basically possess Aang, and this may or may not be the fish avatar. The only other spirit we see that looks like Yui is the painted lady, and she also deviates from what we normally see in other spirits. She's see-through, glowy, and only shows up after her perceived land of influence is clean. From what I can clean, that she's not just a human spirit, the villagers' folk tales made into a spirit. Because whenever we see others in spirit form, while in the mortal world, they're see-through and blue including Roku's dragon. So it shouldn't be just an avatar thing to look like that, which may also lead credence to the painted lady being formally human. So based on what we know about Yue and the other spirits, the painted lady could have been a human who is elevated to role as a spirit for whatever reason, and as such is either weaker to environmental damage, or she needs a physical form to be tied to, much like Yue is tied to the koi fish and that physical entity was affected by the pollution and she couldn't do anything. Or she's just a healing spirit and couldn't do anything that way either. But these are just the ramblings of a mad woman or I guess just an avatar fan. Except for Bosco theory, that one's real. <laughs>